Hundreds of homes have been ruined across parts of Missouri, Iowa and Nebraska after the snowstorm that hit Colorado last week moved to the Midwest. Rivers have reached historic levels in dozens of locations across the region. The floodwaters are blamed for at least three deaths with others reported missing. In just one county in Nebraska, the sheriff says at least 500 homes are flooded and the total number of lost homes and businesses is expected to rise. That powerful storm, which has become known as the bomb cyclone due to its rapid intensification, is the main factor contributing to all that flooding. But it is not the only factor and meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen explains how the ingredients for this historic flooding were building in Nebraska for more than a month. Farms, houses, and entire towns under flood waters. Roads and bridges completely destroyed in Nebraska and Iowa. The rivers there just starting to recede Monday after a devastating hit from the historic bomb cyclone. Up above 45 miles an hour to 50 miles an hour. The storm was massive and powerful. Colorado felt the impacts of record-breaking winds and zero visibility blizzard conditions all day Wednesday. Then it moved on to the upper Midwest and became the catalyst for historic flooding. But the storm itself can't take all the blame. The precipitation totals for the storm were not really that impressive, mainly between one and a half and three inches. But the amount of territory it covered was really amazing, focused upstream on the Missouri, Platte, and Elkhorn rivers. That expansive coverage area is just one of the factors that created the biggest flood that parts of Nebraska has seen in more than 50 years. Melting snow is another big factor. A satellite photo on March 11th shows the snow cover across most of Nebraska. A sunny day and then the rain from the bomb cyclone melted that snow. Rapid snow melt combined with the rain from the bomb cyclone started to fill the rivers. Then add the ice jams. Massive chunks of ice freed by rain and swift currents created dams along the river systems. 50 acres of giant ice blocks were left on Jared Jackson's pasture after the flood moved through Loop City. When it finally breaks through, the rivers run higher, faster, and are filled with destructive chunks of ice. The final ingredient was the frozen ground. The beginning of March was cold and February was even worse. Cold, icy earth is not as permeable as warm ground, which allows water to run on the surface with little to be absorbed. From this historic flooding to the Colorado blizzard, the 2019 bomb cyclone has left an unforgettable mark on weather history. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. They really have just begun to assess the damage to homes and infrastructure because of the flooding. There is also expected to be substantial losses as far as agriculture and livestock. And now communities in Illinois and other states are bracing for what they say could potentially be the worst flooding they've seen in at least half a century.